you guys all know, I'm super into Korean beauty products, but I've also heard a lot about Japanese beauty products. So I was really excited when Japan Create contacted me to review one of their crates, and the crate that they decided to send me was their Kira Kira crate, which is essentially a box filled with random Japanese beauty products. So apart from Kira Kira Crate, Japan Crate also offers Doki Doki Crate which is a box filled with random cute stuff such as notebooks, pouches, toys, even apparels. And they also offer Umai Crate which is basically a box filled with Japanese snacks and food. So to receive these crates, all you have to do is to subscribe to one of the plans on their website. If you know someone who loves Japan and Japanese stuff, you can also send these crates as a gift. So this crate I've got here is their November box which is pretty much long overdue but um, each crate contains 6 to 8 full size products so without further ado, let's dive into the box to see what we've got. So the first thing in the box that caught my attention was this and this is the Hottie Me Eye Mask. So these masks are air activated so the moment you take them out of the packaging, they start to heat up to a warm and comfortable temperature of 104 Fahrenheit. It also encouraged natural tear production for those who suffer from dry eyes. So one box contains 5 masks and they come in little packets like this. And as you can see, they have different patterns. They have like diamond patterns, polka dots, stripes and everything. And they come in different colors as well, so it's really fun. So as you can see, it looks like this and they have two hooks at the side for you to hook onto your ear. So I use this and I honestly feel like it's really relaxing. The only thing that bothers me is that it doesn't really sit nicely onto my face because you sort of hook this onto your ear and it's quite heavy so it tends to fall. But apart from that, I feel like it does make my eye feel really relaxed and comfortable. So the next thing is this Hello Kitty eye patch and this is from the brand called Non Kuma. And this is basically for dark eye circles so one pack comes with four pairs. So the patch itself looks really cute and it's sort of like a sticker form so you just sort of stick it onto your eyes. It doesn't fall off or anything. It's really comfortable and the eye patch has like Hello Kitty print on it which is really cute. So apparently the direction says to apply the patch under your eye on clean skin and after 20 minutes remove them and place them back onto the tray to reuse. So apparently they can be reused. So the next item is a lip mask and I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this sort of stuff before. It's pretty popular in Korea as well. It's basically a mask where you slap onto your lips, leave it on for 30 minutes like any other mask and then take them off. So it's basically good for people with super dry lips. So the next item we've got is a facial cleanser and this is the Naive Peach Face Wash. So this is essentially a peach smelling facial cleanser that can let us up to a luxurious foam and it also claims to have moisturizing effects. Next we have two buff products that I've yet to use because I wanted to show you guys the products first. So the first product we've got here is the Family Honey Soap which is a soap for your body. This soap uses real honey essence and royal jelly extract to soften your skin with a pleasant honey smell. So the next product is the Yuzu Bath Tablet and this is basically something to just throw into your bath. This tablet comes with a Yuzu scent which is a citrus fruit that is often used in bath for a refreshing scent. The next item we've got is a sheet mask and this is the Pure Smile Cherry Blossom Essence Mask. So this mask contains cherry blossom extract, vitamin E, collagen and more to help nourish and moisturize your skin. After using it, your skin will feel more supple and fresh. So the very last product are some fake eyelashes and these are the Super Extra Eyelashes. So to be honest, I was a little disappointed with this one because they look great from the box, like the lash band looks thin and everything. However, the moment I put them on, they just look really fake and plasticky. I think because the eyelashes are not really feathered out properly. However, I really like the glue that comes with it. It's really strong and easy to use. So since everything in a box is from Japan, obviously everything is written in Japanese. So if you don't know how to read Japanese, it's okay because they actually provided a little manual that tells you everything you need to know about every single product in the box. Apart from just telling you more about the products, they also have this eye makeup tutorial page which I thought was pretty handy to have. So those are all the products I received in my Kira Kira Create. So if you're interested to be subscribed to Japan Create, I'll leave a link down in the description box below so you can check them out. So that's all for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye!